Alright guys, so I haven't um, made a video of this yet, but I decided to launch my newest project, um, which I started uh, in early February, but I just haven't gotten around to making a video of it. Um, not much has happened until now. Um, but what I'm making is a day daylight balanced uh, LED uh, Fresnel lens light, uh, which I'll use this for filming. Um, it's kind of like a studio Fresnel, just on LED, kind of a little similar to Aries and the newest Mull Richardson's um, LED uh, lighting, but this one's a, a lot bigger. Um, right now, I'm calling it the DLF 65000K, um, which is the Kelvin of daylight balanced light. Uh, DLF stands for daylight for now. Um, it's pretty much made out of all readily available parts. Uh, I had to do. I didn't have to do much changing of materials. Um, can all buy pretty much most of it um, and with little um, fabrication. This is the uh, housing of this instrument made out of uh, three five gallon buckets. I did start out with one but now it's moved up all the way to three. There's one whole bucket right here and then here's the uh, open top half of another bucket that's for the uh, side and this is the uh, Fresnel which opens up like that by that hinge which I haven't got quite yet but here's the Fresnel lens this is from an opaque or uh, overhead projector and uh, it's just a Fresnel lens I cut down this was originally square so I had to cut that down put some uh, caulking in there and what I'm actually thinking about this is this may actually be a water resistant light uh, which would be kinda cool um, as you can see though there's the inside just the bucket nothing in there yet and here's the uh, other side of it. Next part I have is the disc brake here. Um, this is also used pretty much the same on all the other uh, film lights used in the industry. Uh, it's basically just two wooden discs I cut out and on here uh, is this uh, knob. This part will be attached directly to the light like so and then this part here will be uh, screwed uh, by means of a piece of flattened conduit. Now, when I unscrew this all the way, give me a minute here, you see these two rubber pads, and we know rubber does have some friction, so we put those together, tighten it down, and it creates a nice, nice uh, locking brake for this light to keep it from moving, um, tilting when you not want it to. Yeah, so you turn that down nice and tight, and I honestly can't turn that and uh, before I had something else uh, which is used on my mini brute 9 light um, but that will, does not have enough friction so it makes the light flip and tilt back and forth so I did, did this idea um, and this should keep it still next piece of equipment here is the I should say the most important part this is the part where the LED will be mounted um, and this will allow you to focus it and uh, bring it in and out of focus. Um, I don't have the LEDs yet. Um, they're or I ordered them. Um, they'll be in here about a month or so. Basically, this is a CPU fan with a nice big heat sink. Uh, this is removed from a computer. Uh, we need uh, LEDs need to be cooled um, at such a high wattage this one does. So I got heat sink there. Not a big one, so I'm hoping the fan will be able to do some cooling uh, there. Basically, it's just a track with a uh, bolt here, and it's got threads in it, so as you turn this crank, uh, it allows you to move it back and forth. Now, since the uh, threads are so fine, it does take a very, very long time for this to move back and forth, but it does get the job done. Um, I'll make a uh, more detailed video of this. Uh, later, and I'll put the link in the description and probably annotate it somewhere around there. Now, here's the other part. This is kind of like the uh, what's it called? The track, the runner, or whatever you want to call it. This is where the light will sit on, um, and so it can be able to uh, take some bumping and stuff in case it gets uh, dropped or uh, um, pushed up against something. It should protect the light and uh, made out of PVC pretty much self-explanatory here uh, the light will go horizontally this way 
And I'll just set on this, there's going to be a wooden box with the electronics and possibly the uh, focusing assembly. Um, this will be painted black. And lastly, uh, what I have so far are my barn doors, which I am very proud of. Uh, they actually look pretty decent. Um, they're not black yet. I do have to paint them. Um, but they're made out of sheet metal, um, cabinet door hinges, and just some uh, quarter inch, I think, uh, angle aluminum. Um, they're pretty nice. Uh, they do need a little bit more friction at places, but, you know, they function just as any other barn door would work pretty much. So I can cut and shape the light in any which way I want to. Um, you know, and uh, pretty much self-explanatory on how that was made too. Um, I'll probably make another video of this and put it in the link um, and annotate it. Same with the... Same with the, this device, I'll make a closer video because it's quite interesting. Um, and I think that's basically it. So, uh, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you enjoy this video series, which will be coming up pretty soon. Thanks for watching.